everyone and welcome to your reading. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you all for the support that you've shown me. Today's message is going to be the overall love energy of what's currently going on. You'll have, let's, let's do five options. And please remember that this is a general reading. So that means if the message does not resonate with you, um, you know, you can pick another pile or choose another reading. So now I'm going to do something different where I'm only going to use the music cards and pull whatever message I can get from the music cards that I, I made. These, these are cards that I made. So I'm going to put some stones here that you can choose from. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle once you pick your pile. So this is going to be pile one with the peacock or pile two with an Amazonite, pile three with a geode, pile four with a crystal quartz, clear quartz, and pile five with an Amazonite. <laughs> I just said that. Amethyst. It's an amethyst. Okay, so please cho choose your pile. Okay, so pile one. We're going to pull the current love energy of where you are with your person and the first card is going to be you the second card is going to be them the third card is going to be the overall nature of the love the fourth card is going to be the heart of the matter the fifth card is going to be hidden in influences so anything that you can't see the sixth card is going to be challenges seventh card is going to be advice and the eighth card is going to be the outcome of the love. So pile one's current energy, current love energy. So how you're currently feeling, how your person is currently feeling, overall nature, heart of the matter, hidden influences, challenges, advice, and the outcome. Okay, how you're currently feeling, show me how they're currently feeling, the chemicals between us, the overall nature, come undone, heart of the matter, no trivia, the hidden influence is I'm yours. The challenges is right now. Advice someday. And the outcome. Savior. Okay, so how you're currently feeling right now? Show me card. So the lyrics are, and this song is by Alina Baraz and the Galamatias. All right, I think I said that right. Rising like the smoke, you linger on me. You got me so high, I can finally breathe. You're walking poetry. It's what you do to me. It's what you do to me. Touch me with no hands, hold me with your eyes. Unwind me with your mind tonight. Speak with no words, show me, and I'm all yours. So how you're currently feeling, you feel this person has got you on a high, you know, you feel like 
I found the one. You have such passion towards this person. You feel, you can feel them and they don't even have to speak. You know, like you can just look in their eyes and know what they're feeling for you or what they're thinking. It's just like this overall strong, passionate energy you have for them. So I feel like right now you're just feeling so like engulfed in them. Okay, so how they're currently feeling is the chemicals between us. So this is a song by Bush. When I, up until recently, making these cards, I've always thought this song was about just having a great chemistry with someone. And I guess I just listened to the song. I never really listened to the lyrics. But the lyrics are, The chemicals between us, the walls that lie between us, lying in this bed. The chemicals displaced, there is no lonelier place than lying in this bed. So when I read the lyrics, it sounds like there's a distance between someone. Like you can be lying in the bed with them, but you still feel separate. You, you don't feel like close to them but with what I initially thought the song was about I'm gonna go with that because that's what I'm feeling right now looking at the rest of the cards they're feeling the chemistry between you as well so this feels like a strong passionate bond and you both are feeling the same way about each other Maybe they feel a little bit distance because maybe it's a long distance relationship or something like that, like an internet. Um, maybe you found each other on like an app or a website or something like that. So, but there's some type of distance. Maybe they have to travel for work or school or or whatever that is. But I feel like they definitely feel the chemistry with the show me and I'm going to go with that. Okay, so the next card is the tone and the overall nature of this love. And it's a song by Duran Duran, Come Undone. And it says, My immaculate dream made breath and skin. I guess made of breath and skin. I've been waiting for you. Signed with a home tattoo. Happy birthday to you. Was created for you can't ever keep from falling apart at the seams can't believe you're taking my heart to pieces so with that being the overall nature and like how i said that the chemistry is very strong here so this i feel like they feel like when they're with you or when they're talking to you it's like their birthday they feel like a celebration they feel happy They've been waiting for this moment. They feel like they're dreaming. And their dream is come to reality because you're made of breath and skin. Like you are a reality for them. And they can't help but falling apart at the seams. Like when they're speaking to you or when they're around you, they feel like they, they just, they can't contain themselves. Like they're, um, I guess like mushy. Like, oh my God, I can't believe this person is here with me i can't believe this person is real and and created in in this world and not like a dream or a storybook so they can't believe that you're taking their heart like maybe it was strong passionate and fast maybe it's been like a fast love like really quick So heart of the matter and it's no trivia by it's from uh, from autumn to ashes that's the band I can't believe you asked me that of course I don't believe in fate would you be depressed if I attend that wedding but only as a guest such an unfaithful bride draped in dress spun with threads of my regret 
So the heart of the matter is they have some sort of regrets here. But it's almost like how we're saying here, like the chemicals and the chemistry and everything is like, oh my God, oh my God, right? Like, oh my, okay, oh my goodness. <laughs> no, oh my God is. Um, it's almost like they're in denial of fate. Like they don't want to believe in fate because it says, of course, I don't believe in fate. And it... I'm reading this now as like, no, I don't believe in that stuff. Like someone who, who's just in denial. But they also have some sort of regret. So I don't know, the heart of the matter, if they were married, are married, or maybe had a past relationship where they have a lot of regrets. Would you be depressed? Heart of the matter. Just give me some time to pull the energy of the card. Spun with threads of regret. Such an unfaithful bride draped in a dress. So this song is about almost like the one who got away. And let's say it's like an ex or whatever. And you're attending a wedding but only as a guest. Like, you want to be in the wedding. You want to be the groom, the bride, or whatever. But you only show up as a guest. So, from the energy of this, I think everything is just moving so fast. It's making them afraid. And it's like, of course I don't believe in fate. And also, it's scaring them maybe because of a past relationship where they thought they found the one and and it wasn't. So maybe that person that they wanted to be with in the past got married and moved on and it feels like a regret and they don't want this to happen again. So that's the heart of the matter. That's what I'm picking up. So challenges. No, I'm sorry. Hidden influence. Hidden influence. I'm yours. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, all the, the cards are, like, mostly positive songs here. Um, you know, it's, like, maybe three of them where I'm just, like, eh, the, the, the tone of it is kind of, like, iffy. But I'm picking up with the rest of the cards that this overall has a positive energy to it. So... The hidden influence is I'm Yours. So it's by Jason Mraz. I tried to be chill, but you're so hot that I melted. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I was talking about. Like, they, they come undone around you. Okay, so I fell right through the cracks. And now I'm trying to get back. Before the cool done run out, I'll be giving it my bestest. And nothing's going to stop me but divine intervention. Of course I don't believe in fate. <laughs> like, okay. Um, I reckon it's again my turn to win some or learn some. But I won't hesitate no more, no more. I, it cannot wait. I'm yours. So this is the hidden influences. They're hiding this from you. You have them. And you're so hot, they melt. Like, they just can't contain themselves. They're so happy to have found you. Hmm. Yeah, nothing's going to stop me but divine intervention. So, nothing's going to stop this relationship from happening unless divine intervention kicks in and... Fate says no, but fate is saying yes right now. So that's what I'm picking up there. The challenge is right now. Like, this is so perfect. As a challenge, and I'll, I'll read you the lyrics. I already know the song, so I'm saying it. So right now by Danity Kane. You make me want to do something I never do. 
want to go there with you all the way there touch me there take me there with you boy i'm scared of you nothing compares to you and i'm prepared to do it so i can love you right now like i want to right now we just can't do it and it's taken everything in me i want to right now just this one rule and it's keeping me from giving you my love so that's the challenge which i said it's perfect because it's just like they they feel all this they want to do all this with you but for whatever reason they have this one rule or like i said something in the past happened and it's stopping them from giving you all of this love that they can't can even contain themselves. So like I, so I said before, like this is the hidden influence that they are yours. But the challenge is that they are afraid to do it or I'm scared of you. They're afraid of this feeling. It's just too much too passionate with the chemicals and show me like how you feel and how they feel and they're just afraid because whatever happened in the past but they are prepared and nothing compares to you it's just something is keeping them from giving you their love and maybe it's the distance right now maybe they're afraid maybe because they can't like be with you all the time they don't know what you're doing like maybe they text you a lot like or call you a lot and they're just like hmm it kind of like checking up on you in a, in a sneaky way but they definitely want to go all the way with you it's just something that's stopping them right now okay so the advice is someday this song, this is where I go, eh. So this song is Someday by Mariah Carey. You were so blind to let me go. You had it all but did not know. No one you'll find will ever be closer to all your dreams than me. Believing the grass would be greener, you told yourself, I just don't need her now. But I know you'll soon discover you're never satisfied with any other. So this is the advice, right? And as I'm reading it, I'm channeling the song and I'm feeling the energy. And it's advice, but I think the advice is saying to you to be more understanding of a past relationship that broke their heart. And they were left because someone thought the grass was greener on the other side. And your person is feeling like, how could they not see my worth and my value? And maybe they feel like it's hard for them to put that kind of emotion and energy into someone else, even though they're feeling all these things right now. And they're, they're, they're saying like, this person, you are better than this person that left them. But as they were feeling all those feelings before for this person who thought the grass was greener i hope i'm not confusing you but the person that from their past their ex or whatever they were putting all that energy into them and they thought this was it this is the one they're feeling the same way for you now so that's where the fear is kicking in so the advice is to be understanding that they're not putting you on the back burner. They're just afraid. They're not stringing you along. They're just afraid. So the advice is to be understanding for what happened. You know, some people don't deal well with breakups and hurt. And it takes them a while to get over that. So to be sweet to them so that they can learn to trust you. To be sweet and understanding so that's the advice okay so no. and this is the outcome savior um it's a song by a band called any given day and the lyrics are put your wings around me 
hold my pieces together. Oh my God. You don't even understand (laughs) because you don't know. Maybe you don't know the song. Okay, so put your wings together. Put your wings around me. Hold my pieces together. Through the darkest days to the end of time, save me from falling. Save me from eternal darkness that's creeping slowly from heart to feet. So, okay, I'm going to stop it right there. I'm going to finish it. But heart to feet, right? Their heart is afraid and their feet are afraid to move forward right now. Okay. So hear me through the oppressive silence that ceased my voice and let me bleed. You led me through the eternal darkness. Guide me the way you're my savior. Okay. That's really beautiful. So what I'm picking up from that is they feel like you are are you're you're their savior from their past from all this this person their ex right they feel like you hold them together you bring them together so you might be like give you might give them like really good advice or they just feel like oh my goodness like this person is perfect and they feel like through all that pain and darkness that they went through, whatever it is that they went to, maybe it wasn't an ex. Maybe it was some sort of addiction. I'm not sure. Right? But whatever it is that they went through in the past, you're helping them. You're the, you're their guiding light right now. So let me see. Yeah. Put your wings around me because you're an angel. Hold my pieces together. Through the darkest days till the end of time, save me from falling. So whatever it is that they feel like depression or like sadness or whatever, you lift them up. And that is really beautiful. So that's the current love energy for pile one. So pile two, if you chose Amazonite, we're going to get the current love energy. And the first card is going to be how you feel. The second card is going to be how your person feels. The third card is going to be the overall nature. The fourth card is going to be the heart of the matter. The fifth card is going to be the hidden influence. The sixth card is going to be the challenge. The seventh card is going to be advice. And the eighth card is going to be the outcome. Your person has a lot to say. <laughs> These cards are really, really falling out. All right. Let me just do... And there, it's a, it's a lot of songs, too. So it's a thick deck. She's kind of thick. Okay, this is how you're currently feeling. This is how they're currently feeling. This is the overall nature. This is the heart of the matter. Heart of matter, I said, okay. Hidden influence, challenges, hmm, advice an outcome okay let's see what I can pull 
Okay, so this is how you're currently feeling. And it's by ex ambassadors, unsteady. Hold, hold on to me. Because I'm a little unsteady, a little unsteady. If you love me, don't let go. If you love me, don't let go. So you're feeling unsteady about this relationship. You don't know if you want to stay, if you want to go. You think that no matter what you decide, that you don't want them to let go. So even if you walk away, you want them to beg you to stay. You want them to come back. Okay, I'm trying to pull the energy. I'm trying to see if I can get any downloads from this. Mm. So right now, I, I feel like you're just in a... Your, your thoughts are in a shaky place. Okay, this is how they're currently feeling. I'm yours, Jason Mraz. I tried to be chill, but you're so hot that I melted. I fell right through the cracks, and now I'm trying to get back. Before the cool done run out, I'll be giving it my bestest, and nothing's going to stop me from but nothing's going to stop me but divine intervention. I reckon it's again my turn to win some or learn some. But I won't hesitate no more, no more. It cannot wait. I'm yours. So maybe they were hesitating for something and that's what's making you feel unsteady. They're hesitating to give you of the relationship that you want or to be treated the way you want to be treated in a relationship, the way anyone deserves to be treated. You know, maybe they have been a little bit neglectful, paying attention to work more than you or or something like that. They think the world of you. You are theirs. They love you because nothing's going to stop them but divine intervention. But something was making them hesitate, and I think that's what's making you unsteady. And that's the current energy for them. I'll get more into it if I pull anything, if I can feel anything. So the tone, overall nature, is Dreaming of You by Selena. Late at night when all the world is sleeping, I stay up and think of you. And I wish on a star that somewhere you are thinking of me too. Because I'm dreaming of you tonight. Till tomorrow, I'll be holding you tight. And there's nowhere in this world I'd rather be Then here in my room, dreaming about you and me. And this is the overall nature. They dream about you. They think about you. You're heavy on their mind. So I don't know if you two have had a fight, an argument or something. But that's kind of what I'm feeling. Because it's like they're staying up late at night thinking of you. When the world is sleeping, they, they, it's like sleepless nights. And then by the time they fall asleep, they're dreaming of you. But you are theirs. Because it says, I'm yours. You are theirs. And no matter what you're going through right now, they feel like you two will make it through. Let me just get a sip of tea voice is about to crack and cough (coughs) okay so the heart of the matter is love song by 311 whenever i'm alone with you you make me feel like i am home again whenever i'm alone with you you make me feel like i am whole again however far away i will always love you however long i stay i will always love you so this is the heart of the matter. It doesn't matter where you go, what you do, or anything like that. This person is saying or singing you a love song, basically. They love you. And you make this person feel complete. So, because I'm, I'm looking ahead. I'm looking ahead at the hidden influence. So maybe you two have had a fight or an argument. Like, that's what I'm feeling right now. And you need to hear how much you complete the person, your person. 
you need to hear this because you you just feel unsteady about where this connection lies you feel like you don't know your place in this person's life right now but this message is saying they're always going to love you you make them whole you are their home whenever they're alone with you it's just like it's just you and them and the world outside it there's there's no one else there Okay, so this is the Hidden Influence. God of Love by Honey Honey. What do I have to do? Get on my hands and knees. What do I have to do? Buy a rosary. Oh, what do you need from me? Why won't you tell me, please? Oh, God of Love. So this is either you or them in the hidden influence. You're praying. You're begging. You know, it's not that you're begging the person. Maybe you are. I don't know. Maybe they're begging you. But you're like, what do I have to do? How come I can't get this right? Or that's what they're thinking. Like, how? why do I keep messing up? And it's just like, you know, God, please help me. Or is is there a God of love? Maybe I can connect to them more and they can help me faster because I just want to make this right. And they're just asking for a sign. Why won't you tell me? Maybe that's what they're asking you or you're asking them. Like, what, what, do, what do we have to do? How come we can't get this right? Like, why don't you just get it? That's what I hear. Like, why don't you just get it? But you also have to know that, or they have to know that, no one's a mind reader. So the communication needs to be worked on here. That's what I'm feeling. Like, it just needs to have <clears throat> better communication here. So the challenge is bed. So I'm going to read the lyrics. This is by Jay Holiday. I want to put my fingers through your hair, wrap me in your legs, and love you till your eyes roll back. I'm trying to put you to bed. So the challenge is bed. Hmm. So this can go a lot of ways with this challenge. Either one person wants to make love and the other person doesn't. Or the challenge is in bed. Someone is not pleasing their partner. Or they just want to make passionate love to you and just forget all this arguing. Like, that's what they want to do. They want to have makeup sex. But that's a challenge because you're mad at each other. Take it how it resonates. Because that can go a lot of ways with the challenge being in the bedroom. The next card is advice. It's a song by Marilyn Manson. It's evidence. <laughs> and I didn't, <laughs> I didn't write the lyrics right, so I'm going to pull up the lyrics. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that's the message. <laughs> it's like the song is evidence, but you got two songs. So you got let me let me pull up the um lyrics. You got two songs. I wrote this wrong. <laughs> I always catch this at the videos. Okay, so this song that, that's on the card is um Have You Ever Really Loved a Woman by uh Brian Adams or somebody I don't know so the lyrics are when you love a woman you tell her that she's really wanted when you love a woman you tell her that she's the one because she needs somebody to tell her that it's tell her that it's gonna last forever so tell me have you ever really 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 ever loved a woman and it kind of works out because of what I was saying 
like with the god of love tell me what i gotta do right tell me what i gotta do and it's saying to you or to your person this is what you have to say because when you love a woman and the you know it's just this is the, the song i'm not saying that you're a woman watching i'm not saying you're a man watching but this is how the the lyrics are because when you love a woman you tell her that she's really wanted when you love a woman, you tell her that she's the one. Because she needs somebody to tell her that it's going to last forever. So tell me, have you ever really, really, really ever loved a woman? And this is why you're unsteady. Because they're not telling you how they feel. Like how they truly feel. <laughs> and it's almost like... This is the evidence. This is like the proof. <laughs> the way that's fair. It's like, that's the proof. Okay, so... So... This is what I was supposed to write for evidence. Want you wanting me. Want what I see in your eyes. So give me something to be scared of. Don't give me something to satisfy. So that's the advice. It's like there, there needs to be some passion here. This, this, and then with this bed too, going back to the challenge, there needs to be some like passion, like this is what I want. Somebody needs to come into their, their own and put their foot down. So want you wanting me, want what I see in your eyes. Maybe that's how you feel towards your person. Give me something to be scared of. Don't give me something to satisfy. Like, don't just try to satisfy me. I want what I see in your eyes. I want that passion. I see it there, but you're not giving it to me. You're not bringing it. So maybe that's what you need to say. That's the advice. Bring it. And the outcome is Alicia Myers. I want to thank you. I want to thank you, Heavenly Father. There is a lot of praying in this in this deck too, in this pile too. Okay, so and you know maybe your prayers are going to be answered. Outcome. I want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for shining your light on me. You sent me someone who really loves me, and not just my body. The bed. He keeps me happy, so very happy. He loves me. I don't know how to be. It's been a long time since I had someone who loves me. I owe my thanks to thee. So this is the outcome. You know, like maybe once someone put their foot down and once someone sings these love songs, like give me some poetry, give me something. You know, like then that's when your prayers are going to be answered. All this praying is going to be answered and you're going to be giving thanks. So... Start right now working on your gratitude. Write down what you're grateful for. What are you grateful for with this person? Write it down. Write it down every day. Just have gratitude. I am thankful for. I am grateful for. And you'll attract more so that you can have this outcome that you want. So that your prayers can be answered. So maybe do some gratitude ritual. Some gratitude journal. And just keep thanking God, the universe, spirit, whomever you pray to, whomever you're praying to, they will bring you more of what you want instead of what you don't want. All this unsteady energy. Okay. I hope you resonated. I hope that was helpful. I hope you liked this reading. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please let me know how it resonated with you in the comments below. Okay, so deck three or pile three, we are doing the current love energy of you and your person. And we're doing it with a song. I'm going to shuffle for you. So the first card is going to be you. The second card is going to be your person, them, and how they're currently feeling. 
The third card is going to be the overall nature. So that's like the tone of the reading. The fourth card is going to be the heart of the matter. The fifth card is going to be the hidden influences. The sixth card is going to be your challenges. Seventh card is going to be the outcome. I'm sorry. Seventh card is going to be advice. And the eighth card is going to be the outcome. So you, them, overall nature, heart of the matter, Hidden influences, challenges, advice, and outcome. Thank you, Spirit, for your message. Okay. Pile okay. three. Bad things. Them. Show me. Okay. Overall nature is black honey. Okay. I see how this is going. Um, heart of the matter is sucker for pain. Oh my goodness. Uh, hidden influence. She will be loved. Six is the challenges. So this is the challenge right here. Okay. Advice, no ordinary love, and AIDS, the outcome. Okay, okay, okay. So this is how you're currently feeling right now. You did a bad thing. You've been naughty. You've been naughty, okay, towards your person. Maybe you didn't mean it. Because this song is by Raylan Baxter. I was standing by the river watching my bridge burn down. I was standing by the river watching my bridge burn down. Because I done a bad thing and I'm paying for it all right now. Because I did a bad thing and I'm paying. I'm paying for it all right now. And I know, no, no, I don't lie. Cause I was taken over by the devil last night. And I know, no, no, when he comes around, I've done bad things and I'm paying for them all right now. Okay, so you hurt your person. And you didn't mean to. Maybe you were partying and drinking or, or under some type of influence or maybe some... Bad spirit jumped on you and it made you act in a way that you wouldn't normally act. Maybe you reacted out of jealousy or something that you thought was, you know, like some some thought that you had and you were wrong in the thought and in the action of hurting your person. And you are feeling really guilty about this and you're feeling really sorry about this. Take it how it resonates. If this if this is not resonating with you, please choose another pile. But this is the overall nature of this pile. So you're watching your bridge burn down. And, you know, if it's the only bridge to your destination. And you're, you, you're watching it burn down. So now you can't even get to where you want to get to. Maybe you can't get to your person. Maybe they... They're not taking your calls. Maybe they're ignoring you right now because you you hurt them. This is how they currently feeling. This is a song by Alina Baraz and the Galamatias. Show me. Rising like the smoke, you linger on me. You got me so high, I can finally breathe. So high and 
this one, I don't know, I feel like some type of influence here, like some under some type of influence. I can finally breathe. You're walking poetry. It's what you do to me. It's what you do to me. Touch me with no hands. Hold me with your eyes. Unwind me with your mind tonight. Speak with no words. Show me and I'm all yours. So your person currently, they love you. They feel all this passion and chemistry towards you. You know, you're like walking poetry to them. Like, you know, like the most beautiful poem they could ever read is you. And that's how they're currently feeling about you. Even though you hurt them, they still feel this way about you. So the tone and the overall nature of this reading black honey black honey is by a band thrice and a lot of people have different uh interpretations of this song so i'm gonna channel what i feel for this reading and already i already associate the song with self-sabotage so Maybe this is what you did. You self-sabotaged the relationship. Because the next card is the heart of the matter. And I see sucker for pain. So I'm going to channel this card. But I can already see where this is going. So the lyrics are, I keep swinging my hand through a swarm of bees. Because I, I want honey on my table. But I never get it right. No, I never get it right. I keep swinging my hand through a swarm of bees. I can't understand why they're stinging me. But I'll do what I want. I'll do what I please. I'll do it again till I got what I need. I'll rip and smash the hornet's nest. Do you understand? I deserve the best. Okay, so this is overall energy. And I'm going to associate this with you because you it's already telling me that you did something bad to hurt them. So with this card, it's like if you take your hand and you keep hitting and swarming bees, they're going to sting you. But it's like you're surprised that these bees are stinging you. Why are you surprised? So this is like self-sabotage, like. You didn't know those bees were going to retaliate to hurt you? And it's not to come down on you or anything, but it's like a realization, a thought. It's like you're doing what you want. You're doing what you please. You think that, um, you thought that you can hurt somebody and it not come back on you. And you would do it again because you want what you want. And I don't know, it feels like almost like a selfish behavior. You hurt your person. You realize what you did. You realize what's going on. And you're you're paying for it now. But in the moment, you didn't think about it. In the moment, you just thought what you were doing were right was right. But like I said, you could have been under some influence here. So you weren't thinking. See, because you, you feel like you deserve the best. So maybe you were standing in a selfish power. You know how it's like you can stand in your power to do what's right, but you were standing in this selfish energy. But your person still loves you. So you're very lucky. They still love you. There's, it doesn't look like they... Uh, oh. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're going anywhere from the rest of the cards. I didn't want to say that for sure, but it doesn't look like they're going anywhere. So the next card is the heart of the matter. Sucker for pain. So maybe you feel, I'll, read, I'll get to the lyrics, but maybe you feel like love is pain because that's all you know. That's all you've ever been shown, that love is pain. 
So maybe your person understands that and they want to show you, show me, show you a different way. So that's why they're still around because they know you don't know any better. So the lyrics are, well, it's by Imagine Dragons and Little Wayne's and it's like a bunch of people on this song. I torture you, take my hand through the flames. I torture you, I'm a slave to your game. I'm just a sucker for pain. I want to chain you up, I want to tie you down. I'm a sucker for pain. And that's the heart of the matter. And maybe you're into some uh, freaky business. I don't know, chain you up tie you down that's not a little freaky but um maybe it's like a, a a game that you play with your partner but the overall energy i'm pulling from this is it's almost like you're torturing yourself you're a sucker for the pain like self-sabotage you don't know why you keep doing this but you keep doing it And you're sorry, but the lesson needs to be learned. Maybe the lesson is learned. And I want to say, you know, the, the games that you're playing with your person, they have to stop. Unless it's some type of freaky, kinky thing that you, you do. But they have to stop because it's not fair to your person. They're trying to show you love. And you think that you don't deserve this or this isn't real. Like, it's this doesn't happen. This, is, this isn't real. And it is. It is real. And they're trying to show you that it is. They're trying to show you a different love, a different way. So it's almost like stop torturing them. Stop torturing yourself. Don't be a sucker for pain. Don't be a sucker for love either. But don't be a sucker. Just ask them to help you. Ask them to help you learn to love. Because you need, you need, you need help to stop self-sabotaging. Hidden influence is she will be loved. See? That's what I'm saying. It's like that's the hidden influence. Come on. Your person loves you. She will be loved at the end of the day or he will be loved, you know? It's not gender specific. This is the name of the song. It's not always rainbows and butterflies. It's compromise that moves us along. Yeah. My heart is full and my door is always open. You can come anytime you want. Yeah. I don't mind spending every day. You are a very lucky person to have found this person. They know it's just going to take a lot of work to help you... Get through this self-sabotage. And they are open to that. They know relationships aren't always rainbows and butterflies, you know? Like, a lot of people think that it is. Like, oh, you know, when you see these couples on TV, on the internet, wherever, and they just look so perfect. But it's not always that way. And your person is very understanding of that. That is so sweet. And the song's by Maroon 5. I don't know if I said that. Um, so they don't mind spending every day helping you. You just have to ask for help. And that's, that's the hidden influence that their heart is full and their door is always open to you. They love you. They just need you to show them that you really love them as well and to stop sabotaging because the next card is a challenge and is truly madly deeply by savage garden i'll be your dream i'll be your wish i'll be your fantasy i'll be your hope i'll be your love be everything that you need 
I love you more with every breath, truly, madly, deeply do. I will be strong, I will be faithful, because I'm counting on a new beginning, a reason for living, a deeper meaning. This makes me emotional. (laughs) This is so sweet, because I just feel like your person is like, look, this is the hidden influence. This is what you, you can't see it. So it's the hidden influence. You can't see that they're like, look, I'm going to be everything that you want me to be. Because you're everything I want. But the self-sabotage, you know. So I will be strong for you. I will be faithful. I love you more with every breath. So every day, every breath you take, they love you. You're their reason for living, and you're a, the deeper meaning of their life. They're, they're going to be your hope. That's what they're saying. Like, I'll be your hope. Because maybe you, you, don't, you don't believe in things. Maybe you just don't believe that love is real and love can truly happen. So they're going to be the hope that you need. They're going to be the love that you need. That is very sweet. (laughs) Oh my gosh. It's like, how can I finish? Okay. Pull through. So the advice, the advice is no ordinary love. And they know that you two are just not very ordinary. You know? This song is by Sade. I gave you all the love I got. I gave you more than I could give. I gave you love. I gave you all that I have inside and you took my love, you took my love. So, you know, they are hurt, but they know this isn't an ordinary love. They know this isn't just regular. There's going to be some challenges and they're ready. They're ready for the fight. They're ready for the battle. They're ready for whatever it is, as long as it's you. And they're going to keep trying for you. Because that's that's part of the song too. So they're going to keep trying for you. And she says, and I'm falling and I'm falling. It's like they keep falling more and more deeper and deeper into the connection. That's what I feel for that. For the advice. So this is advice. Advice. This is no ordinary love. I guess, I guess, okay, if we're going to switch it for advice, they're going to keep giving you love. Because it's almost like the more you hurt them, the more they know you need love. So they're going to keep showing you that, no, this is real, this is possible, you can have this love. I know this is an ordinary, but we're going to make it through and I'm going to show you. Because the outcome is I don't want to miss a thing by Aerosmith I could stay awake just to hear you breathe in watch you smile while you are sleeping while you're far away and dreaming I could spend my life in this sweet surrender I could stay lost in this moment forever Ooh, every moment spent with you is a moment I treasure that's the outcome they don't want to miss a thing they don't want to miss Meaning they they want to be with you. So, you know, if the current energy is like, you know, you're not in a good place, they want to be with you. They want to be with you forever. They like watching you sleep. It's, you know, like, it just keeps saying, like, you know, with every breath you take, they love you. They treasure you. They want to spend the rest of their life with you. This is like the sweetest surrender for them. They just really adore you. (sighs) All right, that's that's what I got. (laughs) This reading is very sweet, very emotional and making me emotional. So let me know how it resonated with you in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, share the video, share the good fortune. Thank you so much.
All right, this is pile four. Whew, intense readings. Let's see what you got. Pile four. So the first card is going to be how you are currently feeling, the love energy. The second card is going to be how your person is feeling, this love energy. The third card is going to be the overall nature. The fourth card is going to be the heart of the matter. The fifth card is going to be hidden influences. The sixth card is going to be whatever challenges you face in this love, in the current energy. Thank you, Spirit. The seventh card is going to be any advice Spirit has for you, universe has for you, God has for you in this current love energy with you and your person. The eighth card is going to be the outcome. First card is going to be you and how you're feeling. Second card is going to be them and how they're currently feeling. Oh, hold on, some cards got flipped over. Okay, I'm just going to shuffle it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Overall nature, third. Fourth is the heart of the matter. Fifth is the hidden influences. Sixth card is the challenges. Seventh card is the advice. And the eighth card is the outcome. All right, we're ready. Let's put it. All right, Paul, for how you're feeling, how they're feeling. Pull it. So thick deck. Uh oh. Uh, overall nature. Heart of the matter. Hidden influence. Challenges. Advice. Um, okay, so already I can see that your person has some hesitations toward this relationship. Uh, but I'm going to start with you, how you're currently feeling. So this song is from Greece or uh, Lo Fang made it over. You're the one that I want. This is how you're feeling. I got chills, they're multiplying, and I'm losing control because the power you're supplying, it's electrifying. <laughs> you better shape up because you need a man, and my heart is set on you. You better shape up, you better understand, to my heart, I must be true. So this is how you're feeling. So... This, your person is the one that you want, right? And they need to get their act together. You feel all this electric energy towards them, but they need to shape up and understand that you will leave them. So, you know, all this feeling that you, you're feeling for them, you're like, please don't get it twisted don't get it confused i will leave you i don't care how much i love you how much i want you you are the one but you need to understand that i can find a whomever you know like you know that you are all of that and they're messing up Okay, so how they're feeling is unsteady. This is how they're feeling. 
hold, hold on, hold on to me because I'm a little unsteady, a little unsteady. If you love me, don't let go. If you love me, don't let go. So they don't know what they want. But they're saying, like, if you love me, don't let go. And, you know, that's up to you if if they are worth the wait. Because it seems like it seems like they're going to make you wait a little bit. This It seems like they're going to take their time with this relationship. So that's this is the current energy that I'm feeling right now. They know that they need to get their beat together, right? And that they're unsteady and they don't know what they want. So the overall energy is tear you apart and that's why she wants revenge. Unsteady is by ex-ambassadors, if I didn't say that. She wants revenge. It's only just a crush, it'll go away. It's just a little, it's just like all the others, it'll go away. Or maybe this is danger and he just don't know. You pray it all away, but it continues to grow. So, <laughs> okay, so maybe this is like the beginning stages of a relationship. And they think it's just a little crush. Like, oh, you know, I, I liked other people in the past too, like, they're just not taking this relationship serious. They're not taking this situation serious. They're kind of praying it goes away. Maybe because it's just, it's intense. So, let me see. Overall nature. This is the tone. They want to tear you apart. Like, it's very, like, strong and passionate. But they want it to go away. And then they're unsteady. So that's why I said you, you know your worth. You're not going to just sit around and wait. And good for you. Because why are you praying this is going to go away? Like, what happened to you in your life that you want to string someone along? Or that you don't want this love? This is good love here. You have good love to give them. So what happens to them in their life? Heart of the matter, number four, the fourth card. Hmm, okay. Sometimes I have to like feel the cards, the energy of it. So this card is My Soul by Thrice. Beautiful song, I love this song. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, so... Are you ready? Are you alive to all the moves in me? Are you steady? Are you alarmed that I am incomplete? Are you ready for my soul? What if I'm broken from the start? What if I never heal? Are you ready for my soul? What if I open up my heart and somehow we stumble into something real? Mm, okay so this is this is this my it answers my question what happened to them in their life so something broke them something made them feel incomplete and they don't know if they're going to heal from this and they're just that's this is why they're unsteady this is why they're unsteady because they don't it's like they don't want to bring you into this so with all the, the crushes that they had, it'll go away. It's just like they don't want to do love again. They don't want to have those feelings. Because it's like, what if I open up my heart and somehow we stumble into something real? Like, what if I let go and then this is real? They have that fear of doing that. But they're asking you, are you ready? That's the heart of the, the matter. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready to deal with all the emotions in me? Because I don't know if I can give you what you want. I know you want me. But I don't know if I can give you everything that you want. Because of what I've been through. But if you're ready to take this on, 
then maybe we can try. But you're going to have to give them time. Because are you alarmed that I am incomplete? Are you alarmed? Are you scared? Do you really know that you want this? Is, is this person really the one that you want? Current love energy? Is this true? You know, like this, this, this song is just questions. And that's the heart of the matter. There's so many questions. There's so many roads you can choose. But you have to know, the viewer, if this is what you really want. Because this person is coming with a lot of baggage. Hidden influences. Dreaming of you. So you don't know it, but they're dreaming of you. They're thinking about you a lot. So, And that's what this, you know, this card here, My Soul by Thrace. They're thinking so many things. They have so many questions. And this is a hidden influence. Dreaming of you by Selena. Late at night when all the world is sleeping, I stay up and think of you. And I wish on a star that somewhere you are thinking of me too. Because I'm dreaming of you tonight. Till tomorrow, I'll be holding you tight. And there's nowhere in the world I'd rather be than here in my room dreaming about you and me. So yeah, they're dreaming about you. They're thinking about you. They're having sleepless nights, staying up late, just contemplating if they can do this. They know how you feel, but they're contemplating if they can do it because of maybe what they've been through in the past. So the challenges is love on the brain. Love on the brain as a challenge, they don't want the love on the brain. You know, it's no shade to you, but it's just from what they've been through. That That's what, you know, that's what the energy here is. It's not that they don't want you, they just don't want to be in love. They don't want those emotions. So the song is by Rihanna, the lyrics are, and you got me like, oh, what you want from me. And I try to buy your pretty little heart, but the price is too high. Baby, you got me like, oh, mm. you love when I fall apart, fall apart. So you can put me together and throw me against the wall. So that's, I think the challenge is that's what they think you're going to do. They think you're going to take their heart and throw it against the wall. Like, this is what they've been through in the past. And this is what they feel like love is. They have the love on the brain. They don't want it because they're afraid. Like, you're going to take my heart, throw it against the wall, stomp on it, throw it over the bridge, and let, let the fish eat it. And, you know, like, they, they have so many paranoias. That's the word I hear, paranoias, about love. So this person... The energy, if they're going to be a challenge and, you know, are you ready? Are you ready for all this baggage? And baggage isn't necessarily, you know, a negative thing. We all have baggage. We all have things from our past that we've been through. But this person has, it's heavy, heavy on their mind, heavy on their brain. All of the things that they've been through. And they fear that they're going to go through that with you. So the advice is Moving Mountains by Thrice. You got two Thrice songs. <laughs> Maybe you should listen to the songs. I don't know if you like my music, but I like my music. <laughs> I speak in many tongues of many men. Argue with angels and I always win. But I don't know the first thing about love. I prophesy and know all mysteries. All hidden things are open up to me. But I don't know the first thing about love. I don't know the first thing about love. And this is the advice. So the advice is telling you they don't know anything about. They don't know where to begin. Love. Like what? It, what? No, I don't want that. Mm -mm. That's the advice. They're, they're telling you, look, I don't know. I don't know what the first thing to do. Like, what do I do? It's almost like someone who trips over their own feet. Like, oh my, 
What is this? So the advice, I guess you have to be understanding that they're going to need a lot of help. They're going to need a lot of help. So you you're almost it's you're going to have to move mountains <laughs> because it's just going to be oh goodness. Okay. All right. Just welcome to your reading, huh? <laughs> you're going to have to move mountains. For some of the obstacles that are in the way for this relationship and how they are. Okay, somebody really wants attention. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Outcome is infectious by a band called Eminence. Outcome. Okay. Whew. Your person's energy is really showing through here. Came to the conclusion... That love is an illusion. We tiptoe around and I keep shutting my mouth. But silence is the match that's going to burn us down. The fear inside won't let me go until my heart lets me move on. The fear inside won't let me go until my heart lets me move on. Do you feel that? Like, do you see that? And you watch me shuffle. You heard me shuffling. You can see it. But this person has a lot of fear. And this is the current energy. So maybe you felt like it was you or whatever, right? But this person... thinks love is an illusion they came to that conclusion love is an illusion okay say hi say hi okay <laughs> mr spiritual kitty so they came to the illusion love is they came to the illusion they came to the conclusion love is an illusion they think love is fake it's not real it's not meant for them it won't happen for them Silence is a match that's going to burn us down. So the fact that either you or him, I feel like it's, or, or her or whomever, like I feel like it's your person is not expressing how they feel. But that's the match. That silence is like a match. It's going to burn this relationship down. So they need to express and come forth and tell you, what is what's going on what's in their brain and they have a lot going on in their brain <laughs> they have a lot to say to you there's so many things like swirling around in there and that's the current energy i have for you pal four i really hope this resonated with you i hope you enjoyed your reading um Please like, subscribe, share. Please comment below to let me know if this resonated with you. Because I am really interested in this story. Pile 4. Thank you, Pile 4. Pile 5. Okay, so we're doing the current love energy surrounding you and your person pile five so the first card is going to be you and how you're currently feeling the second card is going to be your person and how they're currently feeling their energy towards this love The third card is going to be the overall nature and tone of the reading. The fourth card is going to be the heart of the matter. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, this person has a lot to say. These cards are going everywhere. The fifth card is going to be the hidden influences of this relationship. 
Sixth card is going to be the challenges. Seventh card is going to be your advice. Eighth card is going to be the outcome. Outcome. Outcome of this love. You and your person. Okay. This deck is thick, so here we go. time okay I'm gonna cut it where okay see this one all right pile five this is how you're feeling how they're feeling. Oh, yeah, yeah. Overall nature. Uh -uh. Don't like that. Fourth is the heart of the matter. Hmm. Fifth card is hidden influence. Sixth card is the challenge. Hmm. Okay, okay. Feeling it, feeling it. What's that? Six. Seventh is advice. Ah, okay. And the outcome. Okay, so this is how you're currently feeling about your person. It's Nine Inch Nails, the perfect drug. I got my head, but my head is unraveling. Can't control or can't keep control. Can't keep track of where it's traveling. I got my heart, but my heart is no good. You're the only one that's understood. I come along, but I don't know where you're taking me. I shouldn't go, but you're wrenching, dragging, shaking me. Turn off the sun, pull the stars from the sky. The more I give to you, the more I die. And I want you. Okay. So this current energy is, this person is spinning your head round and round. You don't know where your head is. They're playing games with you. They're just pulling you this way. They're pulling you that way. You can't control how you feel and you know that they're playing games with you, but you still want them. You still want them. You know, you said, I got my heart, but my heart is no good. Because you know you shouldn't be wanting them. You know you deserve better than how they're currently treating you. You feel like they're the only one who understood you. And, you know, it could be like a little game, like a manipulation tactic. They're pretending to understand you, to make you get weaker for them. And it's like a drug the perfect drug, right? So, huh, let me see. Since I associated with drugs, drugs are a temporary escape. They make people feel like like they can take on something. I'm trying to pull the energy. Drugs make people feel like they can take on something but it's it's like a false temporary thing. So maybe this person makes you feel like, you know, like this love is the greatest. It's, it's beautiful. Da, 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 da. But once you come off that high, you realize that mm, this is no good for me. But you still want them. So you're like addicted to them. Okay. All right. That's what I pulled from there. How they're feeling. Sanity Kane right now. You make me want to do something I never do. Want to go there with you all the way there. Touch me there. Take me there with you. Boy, I'm scared of you. Nothing compares to you. And I'm prepared to do it so I can love you right now like I want to right now. We just can't do it. And it's taking everything in me. I want to right now just this one rule and it's keeping me from giving you my love hmm. this person has another person 
that's what I felt when I when I read this card now I've read this card in different readings and I didn't get that message from this card but this one this person has another person another thing they are consuming themselves with outside of you maybe you know maybe you don't know I don't know I would have to pull cards for that but they can't do it because they have someone they want to like you're like a temptation for them and maybe that's why they keep pulling away how I said you know like right here with the perfect drug they're pulling and you know like you you don't know which way you're going with them because they have someone else that's making me uneasy right now okay so overall nature is wicked games by kiana letty you love to be the tr you love to be a troublemaker leaving me now or leaving now then f me later it's always later 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 and i let you come back because sticking around is in my nature and tolerating bad behavior you know that i do that you love that i do that you know you're my weakness oh my goodness like these cars have been flowing oh my goodness like perfect drug with the weakness they're manipulating you they know that you're just gonna wait around for whatever it is they decide whenever it is they decide so they they make you wait because it says it's always later 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 and they're a troublemaker so it's almost like they're doing this on purpose like ooh, what let's see how how far i can go what can i get away with okay kitty you're messing up my reading here you gotta move over booty move over Sticking around is in my nature. Tolerating and tolerating bad behavior. You know that I do that. You love that I do that. And you know you're my weakness. Or you know my weaknesses. Yeah, they know what to do. They know what to do with you. And they make you wait around. They know that they're not treating you in the best way. And they like that they can do whatever to you. And this is the overall nature. The wicked games. They're playing games with you. I'm not going to give my opinion. But I'm getting mad. Uh, heart of the matter. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging. I don't judge. I just get mad. <laughs> All right. The heart of the matter is the first taste by Fiona Apple. I lie in an early bed thinking late thoughts, waiting for the black to replace my blue. I do not struggle in your web because it was my aim to get caught. But daddy long legs, I feel that I'm finally growing weary of waiting to be consumed by you. Give me the first taste. Let it begin. Heaven cannot wait forever. And this is the heart of the matter. You're getting tired of these games. You're getting tired of waiting. You're getting tired of being manipulated. Okay, you are sad. She says she's waiting for the black to replace her blue. She just wants to sleep. She's depressed. She's blue. So waiting for the black, when your eyes close, you see black. You want to go to sleep. You lie early in the bed thinking late thoughts. You couldn't see that, okay? Early in the bed thinking late thoughts. Like you're, you're, you're fantasizing about them. You want them so bad. But you are tired of waiting around to be consumed. You want them like bad. Like you're waking up thinking about 
sexual thoughts about them, about how much passion you have for them. But you want to just go to sleep. You know, she's er- late. She's laying in the bed early. She didn't say I'm in the bed late at night thinking late night thoughts. She wakes up. She wants to go right back to sleep because that's the reality she has to deal with. And I'm talking about Fiona and how she wrote it. Not gender specific. But yeah, she wants to go to sleep. And she says, I do not struggle in your web because it was my aim to get caught. So it's like, you know, this is a sticky situation. And you went in there because that's what you wanted it. So all these games and everything, you realize what's going on. But you're like, Please consume me. I'm here. I'm laying in your trap. Why aren't you taking me? I'm right here. Please, you're almost begging them. Like, give me the first taste. Like, I want it so bad. Heaven cannot wait forever. Woo, sorry. I was moving you. (laughs) I was into that. I was feeling it. I was channeling. Alright, so hidden influences. Can't remember to forget you by Shakira and Rihanna. I left a note on my bedpost, said not to repeat yesterday's mistakes. What I tend to do when it comes to you, I only see the good, selective memory, the way he makes me feel. Yeah, got a hold on me. Okay. You would think I laid these cards out. This is ridiculous. You would think I set these cards up, but I was in there shuffling. Come on. Okay, hidden influence, right? We're on hidden influence. Okay. So this song is about two women that are aware that a man is playing them. But they can't remember to forget them it's just like no 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 the way you make me feel i don't care that you have someone else so you have to leave a note on your bedpost you have to leave stickies to say hey do not repeat this mistake why are you doing this you're asking yourself why am i doing this why do i keep doing this why can't i leave this person alone Why can't you leave them alone? Said the, the note says, don't repeat yesterday's mistakes. So you learned your lesson yesterday, but today you woke up and you're like, I want them. It's like you forgot. You keep forgetting. It keeps talking about waking up, waking up early, thinking late thoughts. You, you're still thinking about them, thinking about the past, maybe the great memories. And that is outweighing all the bad because it says what I tend to do when it comes to you. I only see the good selective memory and you know it. You know that this is what you're doing. You're sitting in a trap. Why? Why? Ask yourself why. Why does this person have a hold on you? What are they doing that makes you feel this great that you're willing to disrespect yourself? And that's not a judgment. That's just food for thought. That's what I want to leave you with. Okay, so the challenge is deserve. You're too kind for me. You don't ever lie to me. What I do to deserve you. What I do to deserve you. So this is the challenge. This person knows that you're kind and they're taking your weakness. They're taking your kindness for weakness. They're taking advantage of you. This is the current energy for the love. They're taking advantage of you. And it's a challenge that you can't let them go, that you can't stop treating them good. 
it's it's really a challenge for you. You just I I don't know if maybe you just you just want you want to make love to them and maybe it once you have it it's done like oh finally I got it <laughs> like that's it but what you don't realize is once you get it if you didn't get it already that's gonna make you more and more into them because you're sharing your soul with them so they're you're always gonna have that tie to them so the advice is she's so high hmm. perfect drug and she's so high I don't know if that resonates with you. Some sort of high drug. They they feel like a love spell, maybe. You know? She's so high. Uh, it's by Tao Bachman. Bachman. Because she's so high. High above me. She's so lovely. She's so high. Like Cleopatra, Joan of Arc, or Aphrodite. This is the advice. I think spirit is telling you, you're better than this. You're above them. Walk away. You are like Cleopatra, like Joan of Arc or Aphrodite. Walk away. You're way high above them. And they know it. They know you're too good for them. You know you're too good for them. Deep down inside, you do know. This is the advice. The advice is saying you're above all of this. This is just lust. So it's like the current love energy is this is lust. Outcome. Have you ever really loved a woman by Brian Adams? When you love a woman, you tell her that she's really wanted. When you love a woman, you tell her that she's the one. Because she needs somebody to tell her that it's going to last forever. So tell me, have you ever really, really, really ever loved a woman? And this person probably... They don't know. They don't. They don't. They haven't ever really loved a woman. Because they should be telling you these things instead of playing these wicked games. They should be telling you that you're the one. You're high. You're above me. I praise you. I worship you. Whatever you want, I will give it to you. That's what they should be saying. I love you. I adore you. I'll do anything for you. Not this back and forth here manipulation where you're waiting to can be consumed later 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 was in the lyrics right waiting to be consumed later 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 can't remember to forget you because the way you make me feel you got a hold on me all of this energy is is just like give me give me give me when they should just be giving. And this is what you deserve. Someone who is like this. Like this song. So listen to the song. Brian Adams, Have You Ever Really Loved a Woman? This is the energy that you need to step in. Step in this power. Step in this power. Not, not all of this. This is all of this. Like, oh my goodness. How many cards? Five. Five cards of please take me. Five cards. Wicked games. Can't remember to forget you right now. Because this one is like I'm scared because we can't do it. First taste. Waiting to be consumed by you. The perfect drug. The more I give to you, the more I die. But I still want you. You're hurting yourself. In this relationship. And that's what I have for you, pal five. I hope you... Well, I really don't hope you resonate with this. But if you do, please comment below and let me know what's going on. 
And I hope you have the power and energy and strength to walk away from this person because you really deserve better. So please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you'll know um, when I upload another video, so you'll get notifications for that. Okay.